Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look into what happened to a very highly anticipated game that teased the Star Wars fan base in 2012 with Star Wars 1313. With the soon to be released game in 2024 with Star Wars Outlaws by Massive Entertainment from Ubisoft, I was super excited as a big fan of Tom Clancy's The Division 2. The Division took gunplay and cover based shooting to exciting new levels and I couldn't wait to see what they can do with the Star Wars franchise. My favorite Star Wars film of all time is Rogue One, where there was more gunplay than anything else. Star Wars Outlaws was right up my alley. I started to think again on what exactly happened to Star Wars 1313 since the trailer hinted at cover based shooting that is eerily similar to Outlaws that is soon to be released. Seeing the successes in other cover based shooters like Gears of War, Uncharted and to an extent Tomb Raider, there definitely was a market for run and gun cover based mechanics. With this in mind, there were so many opportunities and possibilities to really take advantage of the Star Wars universe and was crazy to leave this untapped. Star Wars 1313 was developed by LucasArts that was slated for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One. Running off the Unreal Engine 3, this action-adventure game would take more mature direction compared to the past Star Wars Bounty Hunter game in 2002. The development side even had Industrial Light and Magic, Lucas Animation with Skywalker Sound, and even George Lucas himself helping and guiding in the direction of the game. Revealed in E3 in 2012 with a Spike TV sneak peek with exclusive gameplay, this type of marketing shows that this game was definitely primed to be a massive hit. Then, on March 1st in 2013, the game was on hold after the purchase of Lucasfilm from Disney even though it was reported that 1313 was still continuing on with its production. Literally a month later in April, Disney announced that all internal development was halted where LucasArts laid off all of its staff leaving just about 10 employees to act as a licensor of their product. Basically, LucasArts was no more into gaming but converted into a licensing model that would minimize risk. This license would eventually be given to Electronic Arts and later to Ubisoft as we know for Battlefront 1 and 2, Jedi Fallen Order and Survivor 2 even Outlaws. With Disney not renewing the trademark of 1313, it was official that Disney had abandoned all hope for a 1313 ever being revisited. Although even in 2023, the game remains on hold and looks to be cancelled. With leaked footage of a very early Boba Fett gunplay and gameplay, we still see glimpses of what could have been instead of what was. I don't have hope of this ever returning as the game industry are so scared of risk and even more so in 2024. With games ballooning upwards in cost and development cycles, it looks like Disney was smart to get out of the gaming business when they did. But like most Star Wars fans, especially with the initial trailer, I was just as excited as the next person to see what this game really could have been in the Star Wars universe. That's it for this look into what may have been and what happened to Star Wars 1313. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. It's a long way down. It gets a lot dirtier where we're headed.